everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Beautiful sunny day, 82 degrees. I just finished up a dot-com lunch. Uh, had a nice turnout. Uh, I mean, perfect, perfect. If you're ever in the Irvine area and, uh, you know, Saturday, got nothing to do, you should come join us for the dot-com lunch. I do it every single Saturday when I'm in town on only time we don't do it. It's when we're not, when I'm not in town, but uh, otherwise, I do. So go check it out. I have a meetup group for it. It's at meetup.com slash dot-com lifestyle, and you can RSVP to our next meetup. It's a lot of fun. Love to meet you. Anyway, uh, today I want to talk about putting the cart before the horse. Recently, I posted uh, my earnings for Mo. You might have seen it on my blog. Uh, I made over... $450,000 in sales last month in Mo, and out of that I got to keep uh, 148000 something of my own for myself. So it was good and I got a lot of good questions from it and everything. So people asking how do I get involved, how do I start, that kind of stuff. And I got one comment or one question asking, what about the tax implication? Like how do we pay income tax on it? And this person who asked this question has well, basically, he, has, he hasn't made anything online yet. He hasn't done anything online. And yet, he's asking me about tax implications of online income. Right? And I, I, I got to tell you, see, I, I realize that while it's great, you know, to try to learn as much as you can, there is such a thing as too much information. You know, instead of learning everything possible, putting the cart before the horse in this case, instead of trying to learn everything before you start, that's not the way to do it. I mean, all you got to do is just basically ask, what's the first two things I got to do? And then do that. There's no need for you to figure out everything, especially when, you know, if asking a question about in taxes and stuff. I mean, it's when you haven't made any money, if you haven't made any money, the last thing of your worry is taxes, all right? I mean, but, and you, to answer your question, yes, you have to pay income tax on online earnings, okay? If it's considered income, you, income, you made it, you have to pay tax on it, simple as that. But here's the thing, I, all, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't even be asking that question. I mean, I mean, like I say, it, it's great to try to learn everything, but no, here's the thing, you don't have to learn everything. You don't have to learn everything. If I had to wait until I learned everything there was to learn about blogging before I actually started my blog, my blog wouldn't have started today. It would still, it would still be in the planning stages Oh, because I'm trying to learn, find out everything. So I wouldn't have started it. And here's the thing. I've been blogging for over 10 years now and I am still learning even today. That's why I still go to Affiliate Summit. That's why I go to Mastermind because I'm still learning. So. If you have wait until you learn everything before you start, you're never going to start. You're never going to start. So, you know, you know, the question you should be asking is not, how is income tax handled on my online earnings? That's, that's not the question you should be asking. The question you should be asking is like, how, what's the first step? And once you get the first step, just do that first step. The rest of the stuff will all fall in line. I mean, that's how it works. I mean, there's no need to figure out the 100th step if you, haven't, if you haven't done the first step. That's what I'm trying to say here, all right? So do not put the cart before the horse. Just find out what the first step you got to do. Do that first step, and then the other stuff will fall into place because you will not learn everything. It is impossible. 10 plus years in this business, and I'm still learning, right? So don't try to learn everything. Just figure out what that first step is and just do, those, do that first step and then let the rest, and you'll learn the rest as you go along. I right, hope that helps you guys. Uh, do not put the copy for the horse. Just get started. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.